Can you see me? This is Brian Ramirez with Take It Tomorrow. We've got another really huge unboxing for you. And this thing is huge. This is the Silverstone Temjin Series TJ11 Enthusiast Series computer case. And this thing is enormous. Here's a nice picture of the case itself. Just some basic information about the product. It is definitely a full tower case. It has nine expansion slots with ventilation for a tenth if you really need it. It has support for XL, ATX, as well as all the other standard ATX formats. It features a large motherboard tray cutout for installing aftermarket cooling for your processors, including water cooling if that's the route you want to go. It features dual Silverstone Air Penetrator AP181 intake fans that run at either 700 or 1200 RPMs via a switch. Dual see-through air intake vents with removable filters to give you really good cooling performance. So now that we've gone over that, let's actually open it up and have a look. Thing up and see what we've got inside. Trust me, I'm as anxious to see this thing as you guys are. As you can see, I'm opening the case from the bottom. That's the easiest way to do it. That way, all you do is set it down and slide it off. As you can see, it comes packaged in really nice thick styrofoam. And in a nice plastic bag. So I can just set it back down and slip the bag. There you go. Wow, isn't that nice? You got a nice clear plexiglass window on the side. As you can see, plenty of ventilation here at the bottom. Your power supply mounts down here. I'll show you that. Mounts down here in the back. I'm going to take the side panel off so you can take a look at the inside. Well, here's the inside of the case. As you can see, there's enough room in there for even maybe a small person to live. This thing has tons of room. Here are your air penetrator fans that bring cool air in from the bottom, push it up and force it out through the top, which as you can see is ventilated. You also have a 120 millimeter fan here to blow air out. So it uses basic thermal dynamics to pull cool air in your hot air will come up here where hot air rises and then get blown out by your video cards and by this rear fan. You have your nine optical bay slots here. And there are two caddies for your three and a half inch drives. All you have to do is open it like that, pull it out, and you even have support for solid state drives. Just screw them in here to the bottom. It fits in between the two rails, slide it in, and just lock it back into place.
And I'll show you the front of the case. Looks like you've got power and reset here at the top and the bottom. As you can see, you've got two USB 2.0 ports on this side along with a headphone and microphone jack. And if I spin it around, you've got two USB 3.0 ports and here is actually your reset button. So you have two options for your power buttons. Okay, let's take a look at what comes in the accessories box with this case. You got your manual. You've got your plates, as you can see, for SSDs, solid state drives. You've got extra filters for your fans. You've got a 24 pin motherboard connector, but here's the cool thing. You can run dual power supplies. Isn't that cool? Plenty of screws for mounting everything you need. You even have a couple of, well actually three, three, three pin connectors for fans to a single Molex. So you can power three fans off of a single Molex from your power supply. And that is a power supply bracket. This has been the unboxing of the Silverstone TJ11 full tower case. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.